Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a um, grocery haul. A lot of it is for my prepper pantry, and then I just have a few fill-ins that are going to be for the next two weeks for our family of eight. So I'm just gonna dive right in and show you um, pretty much all of the canned items, and the beans are gonna be part of our pepper prepper pantry, and same with the waters and um, a lot of the boxed goods that you'll see, like the fresh stuff and the frozen, that's going to be for the next few weeks and for some of it, you know, longer than a couple weeks. So here we have six cans of the no sugar added sliced peaches. Um, those are really good if you're making um, like peach cobbler or it's really good to have as just a side with some fruit. And it's really important to have a variety in your prepper pantry. You don't just want beans and rice because you can get scurvy and it can make you really, really sick. So it's important that you have fruit and obviously um, fresh or frozen is better, but sometimes you can't always have that and it's not shelf stable like um, the canned fruit is. And so this is just something that we have just on hand, just in case. But this is stuff that we eat, so it'll get used up regardless. Um, we have six cans of the fruit cocktail. My kids really enjoy that as having that as a side item for dinner. Um, six cans of the sliced pears. We have four cans of mandarin oranges. Four, let's see, one, two, three. Six cans, I'm sorry, of the mixed vegetables. Six cans of sweet peas. We have eight cans of corn, eight cans of green beans, four cans of sauerkraut, four cans of evaporated milk, and two cans of chili. Um, we also have two bags of pinto beans. These are 32 ounces each. We already have some pinto beans, but I wanted some just to add upstairs in my laundry room pantry a bag of black beans, a bag of light red kidney beans, and two two pound packs of long grain white rice. Um, white rice actually has a longer shelf life than the brown rice. So if you were wanting to get something that is more shelf stable and will last you longer, um, brown rice is healthier, but white rice will last longer. So we have um, a three pack of onion soup mix. I'm gonna use that for a recipe coming up um, in the next two weeks. Um, a pack of twisted breadsticks. I have just one of these. It's been a while since I had them and I didn't want to buy a bunch um, before I tried them again. And I'm pretty sure I like these, but I just wanted to make sure. So I just got one of those. Um, two of the, uh, two packs of bread. These were on sale for $1.88. I like to use these for a bunch of different, um, a bunch of different recipes and, um, so I went ahead and got two of those, so two packs of mozzarella cheese. We have two packs of the shredded cheddar cheese. We really enjoy this with um, baked spaghetti and tacos and other things like that. So it's always good to have just an extra on hand. We have a pack of the um, honey pecan cream cheese. This stuff is so good. I always liked the... Um, I forgot what it's called. It's it's kind of like this, but it's at um, Panera, and this stuff is really, really good. Then we just have another container of just regular cream cheese. We have four packs of hot dogs. This is Levi's absolute favorite food, and so um, I get these, and I'll freeze them. So he doesn't have these all the time, but we just keep them and freeze them. I have a roast that we're gonna use to make a pot roast. I have two packs of the smoked sausage. We will have this with the sauerkraut and also some boiled potatoes for a quick and easy meal. Um, I have five of these egg cheese and jalapeno burritos. I really like these for breakfast and they're super quick and easy on the go. Um, in the back, I have the Prego Garden Chunky Spaghetti Sauce. That one is my favorite and it was on sale, so I went ahead and got one extra, um, I am trying to get to where I just focus on making my own, but I figured that would be good to have um, quick, fast, and in a hurry, but I will be adding more of those to my prep. I just needed one container of the Kraft Classic Catalina. Um, I get the fat-free kind. To me, it tastes just like the regular kind. Um, in the back, 
These are the 32 ounce containers of strawberries. They had them on sale for $1.88 and then I also had a 40 cent off coupon. So I got four of those. Um, what we don't use up, I'll just freeze and we can use them for smoothies. Um, this is also for my prep. It is the chicken and broccoli skillet meals. All you have to do is add chicken and then your meal is good to go. And that is pretty good. It's not the healthiest, but it's pretty good and it's a filling meal. And we can add it with some of the canned uh, vegetables and fruit. And that is a quick and easy meal that we can have. Um, I had a coupon for the apples and cinnamon Quaker oatmeal. So I went ahead and got that. Also got some maple brown sugar oatmeal. Those are going to be some other things I'm going to add to my prep. We have a package of red potatoes and a package of sweet corn. I'm going to use both of these in the crock pot and make a crock pot meatloaf. And that's also going to be using the onion soup mix that you saw earlier. I have two packs of the cut and peeled baby carrots. I like to get these. I'll pay just a few cents extra for them to where I don't have to do any cutting um, or peeling. I got a pack of the Italian style breadcrumbs. Uh, this is something I like to use in my meatloaf. Um, just a container of the low fat blended vanilla yogurt from Kroger. We like to have this with our cinnamon granola that we got from Aldi. These were on sale, the Miss, Mr. Fowler's chicken. So this was actually a substitute. I wanted the chicken fingers and I got two of the breaded chicken nuggets, but that's fine. My family will eat them just fine. Um, I have, oops, I have a container of Dijon mustard. This is going to be for a recipe. I really don't use these very often and they tend to expire before I have another recipe pops up with them. So hopefully I can find some more recipes to where that won't go to waste. Um, I have a pack of chicken thighs, the boneless skinless kind. This is going to be for another meal for the next two weeks. I have a pack of salmon. My kids don't like salmon, so this will just be for me and my husband. They'll have something else. And we're going to be making brown sugar glazed salmon for one of our meals. Here, I would like to have these for a quick and easy lunch of the beef and bean green chili burritos. These are pretty good. Um, Kroger had their 18 count eggs on sale for 97 cents. Um, my oldest who is 15, he likes to eat a lot of boiled eggs and he's eating them faster than our chickens can keep up. So I just went ahead and supplemented with these. We have just a pack of pizza rolls and then two packs of crescent rolls that we're gonna be using for a recipe. So as you can see, we don't have too much produce. That's because we still have some fruits and vegetables from um, our last grocery haul. And then we also have some, a whole bunch of green beans and other ones frozen from our garden that we had last year. So we don't tend to buy a lot of produce just because we have it fresh from our garden. Well, it's frozen, but it's from our garden. So we just use those. And we also have chicken um, already that we got from Sam's. So we didn't have to buy that. And we already have hamburger that we um, got from Sam's. So we didn't have to buy that. So this is the fill-ins that we need for um, the next two weeks that we just didn't have on hand. And then just quite a few things to add to my prepper pantry that I have upstairs in my laundry room. So I hope you all will consider liking and subscribing this video. Um, I'm still a fairly new YouTuber and I'm trying to find my, um, my place in it. And I really do enjoy prepping and trying to um, help others with it. So I hope that you enjoy this video and that you will check me out for the next one. All right, bye guys.